Hey everybody, this is Ben Hansen from Game Informer, and I'm here with a bunch of lovely folks from Media Molecule. Mark Healy, creative director, is here. Hello. We have John, senior principal designer. Hello. Welcome, John Beach. Thank you. We have Christoph, a designer. Hey, hello. And then we have Tom, a web developer. Hello. What are we looking at? What is this? Uh, so uh, this is the game I've been working on at home. Um, so with my day-to-day -day work, I don't really get a chance to play Dreams a lot, um, but I really love Dreams. I would hope so. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, you know, sometimes of an evening, I might spend an hour or an hour or two um, just making my own games and things in Dreams, um, just with a, you know, PS4 and DualShock. Sure. And I don't use any moves or anything. Do you want to dive in and show off what so, you've been yes, making? Yes, it's my latest game. Um, I, th I think this is potentially a bit of a glimpse into the future of what the community might sort of make. Okay. These kind of things. So. And are you remixing anything, or just from scratch, you just wanted to make a shooter like this? So this is all from scratch, yeah. Um, actually, there's uh, one remix thing, <laughs> which is like a special effect. OK. Um, thanks, Tom. <laughs> thank, no, thank you, John. John, John made the original um, effect. Um, which one? Uh, uh, well, I have to um, destroy a piece of this. Oh, my goodness. Why did you make this game so hard, man? <laughs> Tom's, Tom's, I, I, he likes it hard. I like it. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Difficult. Just, why did you want to make a game like this? Um, well, okay. Um, let me just go back to the previous thing. Uh, you see, as this uh, this piece falls away, we've got the uh, electric arcs happening, and that's the effect that I remixed. Oh, okay. And else is created. And that's um, from the character in the game earlier, Debug. So. Oh, okay. True. Um, so uh, your your question was um, of all why, the games you could make. Of all the games, yeah. Uh, well, I was chatting uh, about dreams with uh, with a friend of mine, um, and he, we were also talking about like uh, really cool old games that we liked, um, and uh, uh, this old uh, Commodore sixty four classic game called Iridium came up. Uh, so I, I thought. How did oh, you pronounce that? Uh, iridium. I thought it was Uridium. We're going to have to discuss that later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever, however you want to pronounce it, <laughs> um, uh, which is like a, a side-scrolling, um, like action-packed, super fast shoot 'em up. So yeah. I, like, oh, I, I, wa I want to make that. Um, so then I, I did, <laughs> and, so and this is it. You're spearheading kind of the spiritual successor aspect of <laughs> dreams, which I'm sure plenty of people are going to pull from here. Oh yeah, I hope so. That's awesome, man. Look at this big beamer. Ah! <laughs> Should we jump to another game? Yeah, go on. Let's have a look. That's really cool, Tom. That's looking great. Let's have a look at what you've got, uh, Christoph. The first thing I wanted to do with this game was to make like a just like a zero G shooter space, because like in LDP it was just two point D. So I was like, okay, let's try to make something like really three D and see right. how we, how can we do it and. Uh, and the first thing I encountered was like uh, people wanted like inverted control on the spaceship, of so course. I made it so you can you know invert the control. That's absurd. And uh, and then you know when you start playing, you arrive in this uh, big uh, hangar with like a few spaceship. You can of course go into uh, the cockpit because well that's why not. And that's <laughs> always what you do. You press triangle in the, inside the cockpit. And here we go. So basically the idea is like simple control with the left stick, really easy. Easy movement and the classic roll on on the two sides, yeah. and of course, like you press R two and you shoot some classic point to collect, and of course, like the really annoying enemy you want to get rid of. Take them out, Christoph. Yeah, well, okay, you, Christoph. There you go. And yeah, and the other thing I was trying to make, of course, like you can see, is oh, return to base. Did you make that? Yeah. You made the return to base screen. You don't have to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's just it's just really it's just really fun, you know, to to have like uh, the area, the the game area, like really really uh, really packed. So you kind of want to have uh, the enemy and and yourself like uh, going back to that. And I yeah. think the spaceship in the middle isn't that made by you, Tom? Uh, as well? uh, the big oh wait, wait, wait. the big the, the big, big spaceship here. It's basically Tom's uh, spaceship from Doctor Rendezvous. Where I like, clone, make it like super big like tons of assets yeah, to make it look like a proper gigantic spaceship. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's, that's the, that's, yeah, that's the joy of remaking things. So, uh, I don't want to make a space, a, a space station. Well, I made one. Good. <laughs> well, yeah. And Thank then you. I just, I just, you know, like uh, make, make a. Whoop. That, that, I mean, that's All that's right. one of the things that's really cool. I think with dreams is 
you can make everything from scratch yourself if you like. But yeah. It's nice that you can just go and pluck objects that other people have made and then repurpose them. And if they're cool with that. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, if you, when you make something in dreams and share it, you get to decide whether people are allowed to actually pull it apart and remix it themselves. Or yeah. Anything. And there's a whole system in place that tracks back, like what you made and where it ended up getting used and you get all the sort of credit credit and kudos for that kind of stuff so it really encourages sharing which is really exciting yeah uh christoph how long did it take you to make this uh actually not that long to get the controls in then it was just like uh well i say uh, adding like you know the effects and uh, and something but i would say like well because it's just the evening work so it's really hard to like uh, make it in a uh, in, uh, in, in time, but I would say like, pff, I don't know, a few days, four, two, three, four days, okay. just if I was just doing that, like no, nothing more. It's just like, it's, it really is few assets cloned all over the place, like, uh, and just to give some variety on it. But yeah, it's that big space station from, uh, from Tom, and then some, a big, a big hangar spaceship, and then some logic for the text. Oh wow! Okay. And it's just, it's very simple. Like for example, the reactor here is from Debug, which is a character in in the game. But like, which bit is that off Debug? Oh, that's the reactor on his back. Oh right. Oh, that's LED. Oh, LED. Sorry, it's LED. Yeah, LED. Yeah, Sorry, LED. LED. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just like a, it's just, it's just fine. It's really, it really is simple. And then the fun bit was uh, to make like a, an AI that dodge and avoid asteroids. So that was really, really nice to make something like, like uh, up, down, left, right, yeah. and then, uh, yeah, and then avoid the thing. And so basically, you have to avoid it too. But yeah, that make it, that make the AI like uh, harder to kill. Yeah, yeah, really that's nice. awesome. Good uh, job, man. On to the next game. What is this, John? <laughs> yeah, so uh, me and Ed, one of the uh, audio designers, we wanted to make like this electric guitar gameplay, but we really wanted it to be synced up with the music, like everything to be synced up with the music so when you press it when you first do your first note it's exactly in time with whatever beats going on and it waits for that time and the little hand animations everything's tied to whatever song ed wrote for it because the song is all built in the game so it's all like right. tied perfectly into the game i can take outputs when a note is played or the pitch of the note so it's very easy to sort of combine that and then with that ethos we just went and made this character who has loads of cool abilities, so we can, you know, we can shoot things with our awesome electric guitar. <laughs> can run around and explore the level. Sounds like awesome. a little roll that you put in. Yeah, if you jump from too high, there's like a little roll. <laughs> the and brutal legend team is really going <laughs> to love this. <isn't> <laughs> and then you can duck down in certain areas. It's really cool. You can, you know, attach sort of keyframes and logic to the characters to do what you want them to do. Yeah. And then we have these speakers, which are going to act as bounce pads. And when you stand on them, it actually uh, muffles the audio track and not that you can see it but the controller's vibrating now in time with the music which is a really sort of nice thing that you can do that in dreams you can sort of combine into the the dual shock and the rumble features and then we have some bad guys to take of out course. now so the music picks up tempo and of course all the notes are in time with the music so as i'm shooting out like this you'll see that they're arcing out in time with music and then when there's big notes the arcs are bigger yeah and we've got a, uh, a knee slide as well, so we can like try and avoid the yeah. enemies. <laughs> Such a good dodge. And it's kind of like leaves a little fire trail behind. Yeah. Which is good, so try and avoid all these guys. And these bad guys are kind of, again, me and Ed just did this in our spare time, but they're like um, crows crossed with insects was like our, our not from the Not from them. the story mode though, this is just. There's, yeah, there'll, some form of that will end up in the story. Okay. You might need to become a bit more pro-right maybe. Gotcha. Yeah, this is this is like totally work in progress. And me and Ed just sort of messing around, you know, so. And even try and get you when you sort of go up in the air like this, they'll sort of try and zoom up and get you. That's awesome. They sort of look like mosquitoes. To me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we went for. A mosquito. What would happen if a mosquito and a crow had babies and <laughs> this is, this is this babies is, that were raised in hell yeah exactly yeah. and then when you win you get like a little tiny sort of outro that's <laughs> awesome man so yeah that's, that's super uh, cool that's amazing that's great what we've been working on <laughs> that's what you guys have been doing over yeah. here at Media molecule okay i get it anything else you guys want to show off oh the battle of the designers yeah <laughs> oh is that what's happening here oh, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> win that. is it's this the most competitive way. game you guys have yeah, made so far and Chris are pretty competitive this is made by steve one of the other designers and um he loves doing all this really sort of like slick gameplay very sort of neat and tidy and to the you know perfection okay it's interesting as well actually that well both christoph and john here 
and Steve, who made this particular thing, all come from the Little Big Planet community. Yeah. So they were just like it's kind of star creators essentially, and um, yeah, they ended up coming to work with us. And it's that's great. wild. And that's always you know with with Little Big Planet and especially Dreams, that is one of the one of the tick boxes, if you like, is to sort of give you know people the ability to enter the games industry yeah. who might not necessarily. Hey, will somebody hit start for Christ's yeah, sake? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. I was waiting yes. for Mark to finish the Oh, story. this is a beautiful speech go. about your whole history. So this is a two-player competitive game that's been made. Do you, do you think a lot of people are going to make local multiplayer games? Is that going to be a big aspect oh, of games? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. think so. It's one of the easiest, it's the easiest way to get something cool. fun. Yeah. yeah. Way, what you need to do is make two characters that can hit and you've instantly got like a multiplayer game, essentially. Right, right. So yeah, I, I imagine there, there will be. And then obviously later on, when we do the online support, the making of online multiplayer games, then yeah. I think that's going to be um, hilarious, actually. For sure. Oh, that was <laughs> Cool. Mm, well, this, is, guys, this has got multiple yay. stages to it and everything. This is like, yeah, this is like a best of three. Oh, damn. Oh, me. really? So, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Ah. <laughs> Oh, and obviously you can make um, yep. the amount of players that you can have is Take whatever that. the whatever the PlayStation oh, limit is. It. Is it four? Probably. I'm not sure how many controllers oh. you can plug into. I think it's four. So okay. you can make four player games if you want to. Oh, that's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, that one's chaos. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, I mean, hopefully this is a sort of a bit of a glimpse into the future and the kind of things that we'll be seeing in the in the community. Yeah. I mean, I think there'll be a lot of stuff that's much sillier as I just well. Just kill myself by jumping. This How, is uh, some of the slicker end of it, I reckon. Yeah. Are you guys preparing to be surprised with what the community makes out of the game? Yeah, I think yeah. I just can't wait. Yeah, I'm I just can't wait. looking forward to it. I, I feel like we know. Well, I know I'm wrong here. Yep. But you want to say to yourself, well, we know everything that's possible to make in this, so we're not going to be surprised, but. I remember saying that when Little Big Planet came out, and you just get surprised all the time. So I'm sure people are going to make stuff in this that we just it's going to blow us away. Just blow us away. Yeah. And also, yeah. non-game stuff is the thing I'm really excited about. Oh, how so? Like, uh, I used it to make my wedding venue uh, before we got married. So then I put my at the time fiance inside when we had like an early version of VR, and I was like, "And where do you want the flowers and the balloons and everything?" And then our wedding venue was ex like exactly as we made it, and everyone who I'd invited from work were coming and going, this is weird, this, I've been here before, you know, like, it's, <laughs> like, exactly, so like, you know, I can imagine like interior designers, you know, or wedding planners, or, you know, all that kind of stuff that we yeah. can't think of, you know, what else could you use digital creation for? It's not just games, you know, there's so much stuff. Well, but I think music, the, mu the music, just I, music, I actually think the music oh, side probably. of it is going to be, mm. is going to where we get a surprise, a lot of surprises. Yeah. Because someone can make an album in this, a genuine album that gets released. You and know. the music videos. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be wild. That's really exciting. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for showing off so much of the game. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, and yeah, check out GameFormer.com slash streams for a full month of coverage. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.